Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss why the capacitor is used in a single phase induction motor. Might be you have observed that in the ceiling fan, there is a capacitor and in the industry also, when we are using any single phase induction motor, you will find capacitor along with the induction motor. In this video, we will try to understand the reason behind using capacitor with every single phase induction motor. In order to better understand the reason behind using capacitor in single phase induction motor, we have to overview first the three phase induction motor. So we can relate it and we can understand it better because in three phase induction motor, we are not using any capacitor, but in case of single phase induction motor, we are using it. So let us overview first why we are not using any capacitor in the three phase induction motor. So it will be easy for us to understand the reason behind using it in the single phase induction motor. As we know that in the stator of a three phase induction motor, there is three windings, one for R phase, one for yellow phase and one for blue phase. And we are giving three phase power supply to the induction motor. If you will observe the winding of the three phase induction motor, then you will find that each phase winding is physically displaced by other winding by 120 degree. Here you can see that the R phase and by phase, oh sorry, Y phase has a 120 degree displacement in each other. In same way, if you will observe yellow phase and blue phase, then again there is a 120 degree displacement, physical displacement between these two winding. So we can say that each winding in the three phase induction motor stator, there is a displacement of 120 degree from each other from R phase to Y phase 120 degree and from Y phase to blue phase 120 degree. I hope you understood till here. Now, if we will observe the three phase waveform which we are supplying to a three phase induction motor, then here also there is a phase shift between the phases. Here you can see that the R phase and Y phase is displaced by 120 degree from each other. Here you can see that and yellow phase and B phase is also displaced by each other by 120 degree. The displacement in the power supply phases is called phase displacement and the displacement in the winding is called space displacement. What we observe so far in the winding of the induction motor, three phase induction motor, there is a space displacement of 120 degree. In the power supply, which we are supplying to the induction motor have a phase displacement of 120 degree. In order to develop a rotating magnetic field in the stator winding, two conditions must satisfy. The first condition is in the winding, there will be a displacements like in R phase to Y phase, Y phase to B blue phase. As well as the second condition is in the power supply, there must be also a phase displacement. So in case of three phase induction motor, in order to have the rotating magnetic field, both the conditions are satisfied. That is, there is a space displacement between the winding and there is a phase displacement in the power supply. So Due to this reason, there will be a rotating magnetic field in the stator winding. Due to the space displacement in the winding and the phase displacement in the power supply, there is a rotating magnetic field in the stator winding. And this rotating magnetic field is cutting the rotor bar which is short circuited. And due to the rotating magnetic field, the rotor will experience force to rotate and the rotor will start. I will not go in much detail to explain you the concept of starting of three phase induction motor because I already covered this topic in my one of previous video. I will share the link in the description box. You can watch the video with the topic why the three phase induction motor is a self starting machine. In that video, I cover how the rotating magnetic field developed by step by step. I explain in that and by that I try to explain in that video how the three phase induction motor is a self starting machine. But here I'm, uh, my topic is different that why we are using capacitor in a single phase induction motor. In order to relate this one I am telling that 
there is a three phases in the three phase induction motor and there is a three winding which is space displacement of 120 degree and due to that reason there is a rotating magnetic field and this rotating magnetic field cutting the rotor bars and due to that there is a current induced in the rotor bar which opposes the cause of it according to Lenz law and the rotor experience force to rotate and the induction motor starts. I hope you are clear till here. So what we observe from this discussion is that in order to start any induction motor it is compulsory to have a rotating magnetic field in the stator winding. But in case of single phase induction motor there is only one phase so there is no concept of other two phases and the phase displacement between that two other two phases because the power supply is only a single phase. So the condition the must and should condition to have a rotating magnetic field in the single phase induction motor is not satisfied as the power supply has only one phase so there is no concept of the other two phase so there will be no concept of the phase displacement if with the another two phase as there is no two phases other two phases hope you understood till here so what we can conclude from this discussion is that in order to start the single phase induction motor we have to develop at least two phases with the phase displacement and we have to make two windings with the same space displacement which the phase displacement have. I, I hope I'm clear. I will repeat it once again. In order to have a rotating magnetic field in the single phase induction motor, our first motto will be to have a phase displacement in the phase. Means we have to develop another phase and in that two phases we should have the phase displacement. And second priority, second motto will be in the single phase induction motor that we have to at least wind two windings in the motor and the displacement the space displacement between the two winding should be same as the phase displacement between the two phases which we developed okay how we will develop this is another question but now we understood what we have to do in order to have two phases we will connect the capacitor with the induction motor single phase induction motor but how the capacitor is developing another phase from one phase this will be understand by the characteristic of resistance inductance and capacitance when we supply a single phase supply to a resistor then the voltage and current are in the same phase you can see here this is the property of the resistance okay if we will supply a three phase power supply to a inductor then the voltage the current will lag by the voltage by 90 degree this is the characteristic of inductor and when we supply a single phase power supply ac supply to a capacitor then the current will be lead by the voltage by 90 degree this is the characteristic of the capacitor meaning whenever we are supplying a three uh, single phase power supply to a capacitor then the current will lead the voltage by 90 degree this is the characteristic and might be you know also before i am explaining this one so this property we will use to develop another phase in the single phase induction motor so in order to have two phases in the single phase induction motor what we will do we will supply one winding of the single phase induction motor without the capacitor and another winding we will supply through the capacitor we will connect the capacitor in series with the auxiliary winding so what we will have we will have two phases one phase with the zero phase displacement this is this will be the running winding and the winding where we connected the capacitor it will be lead by the first winding by 90 degree so this will be for the starting winding now we have two phases and the winding how we have to do the winding it is in our hand so as we got the phase displacement of 90 degree we will wound the winding in the stator by keeping the space uh, displacement of 90 degree because it is totally in our hand we can do it now we satisfied both the condition what are the two conditions to have the rotating magnetic field we develop the two phases and these two phases have the phase displacement by 90 degree now we undid the two winding in the stator and these two winding have the space displacement of 90 degree now again the rotating magnetic field will develop 
as you see that there is a two waveform one waveform is for the running winding and one waveform is for the starting winding or we can say auxiliary winding so we have the two phases with the phase shift and we wounded the winding with the space displacement of 90 dB now we will have the rotating magnetic field here you can observe that with the change of the waveform of main winding and the auxiliary winding the north and south pole in the stator winding will change here you can see that the north is here now it's came to here then it's came to here and then it's came to here so it means the north pole is rotating from here to here to here to here and accordingly the south pole is also rotating so it will look like a rotating magnetic field now it will cut the rotor rotor will start rotating now what was our topic our topic was why we use capacitor in a single phase induction motor so the simple answer for this is now in order to start the single phase induction motor we need capacitor as the single phase induction motor is not a self starting machine if we will go in deep to answer this question then we can say that we are using the capacitor to make the phase displacement we, we need we are using the capacitor to develop one another phase from the single phase with the phase displacement of 90 degree and due to this two phases developed in a single phase induction motor and there is a phase displacement of 90 degree the rotating magnetic field will develop which will rotate the motor ultimately so what is the use of capacitor in a single phase induction motor the use of the capacitor in a single phase induction motor is to develop the rotating magnetic field if we have to say in one sentence this will be our the perfect answer that we are using the capacitor in a single phase induction motor in order to have the rotating magnetic field okay so hope you understood this concept and you enjoyed this video if you really like this video if you learn something new from this video then please hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to have a notification for all my videos upcoming videos we will meet in any other video Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.